have you ever wondered how you can give people the option to give you a donation? Maybe to thank you for your time or your effort or a little job maybe that you've done for them that wasn't you know, one of your standard products or services. Or maybe you've run a program or a workshop and you want to give people the option to be able to pay what they feel it's worth or pay what they can afford. Well, it's really, really simple to do and I'm going to show you how to do it in five minutes or less. Let's go. Okay, let's see if we can do this in five minutes or less. The time is 12.07 and let's go. Head over to your Stripe account and from the home page or the dashboard, select payments from the top menu and then down to payment links on the left hand side and then click new on the top right. Now, this is where you would go to create any kind of payment link, so in the top box you have the option to create a product link for a product or a subscription that you have already perhaps set up within your Stripe account so you can easily send people then to spend you know and pay for an hour of your time in terms of coaching or sign up for a program or even join your membership but here's an option now that never used to be there, uh, which allows customers to choose what to pay. So they can either send you a tip, a donation for your cause, or can pay what they want. So if we select that one, it's gonna do exactly the same as creating a payment link for a product. You get a payment page and you get the option for a confirmation page, okay? So give it a title. Now, I offer people the opportunity to jump on a quick call with me if they need something very quickly or they want to talk something through. It's called a brew with Bex. So lots of people always say to me afterwards, you know, can I pay you something for your time? And now they can, they can pay me whatever they feel without it being something that is a specific product. So I can then give it uh, a description, which is optional. I can also give it an image, which is optional, okay? It'll probably take you longer to create an image for your product uh, than it will to actually set this up. I decide on my currency. I can then suggest a preset amount, okay? Or they can choose to pay a different amount. So you can suggest it, but they can also then choose to pay whatever they want. So it's just a suggested donation amount, but it doesn't mean that they have to pay that. You can then also set limits, so a minimum or a maximum amount that your customers can enter. So you might have a minimum donation, they can't pay any less than that if they want to, okay? And then we go to um, the advanced options and you can decide whether the button says pay or book, you can see it's gonna change over here, look, or donate. So there's only those three options, but you can choose any of those. And then whether you want to collect the customer's address, whether they need to provide a phone number, unless you're actually delivering something to them, then you probably don't need their address and they may not wish to give it to you anyway at this stage because this is probably at the beginning of your relationship with somebody or they might already be um, in your client base and just giving you a little bit of extra something because you've helped them out. So do you need that address? Don't you need that address? completely up to you but you can turn that option on here um, so that they have to actually provide that and it will bring up the form on the right hand side okay so I'm not going to um, add that I'm going to leave it as pay for me because donation for me that kind of has connotations that I'm giving to a charity um, and I don't want people to think that they're giving to a charity it is a payment to me so I'm going to leave that as pay Um, And then I can decide what's going to go on the confirmation page. This is what they will see. So everything that they get, you're going to see over on the right hand side. Now I can replace that with a default custom message. So if I type in here, you will see what pops up on the screen. Okay, yeah. Or you can leave it so that it says, thanks for your payment. A payment to Bex McNeil will appear on your statement and however much it is or you can actually redirect them to a URL. So you can give them somewhere on your website that is maybe a a dedicated thank you page, which gives them instructions for what you need them to do next. 
or you can just leave it as simple as it is. And I'm going to leave it as that simple confirmation page. And all I have to do then is click on create link. And there we go, it's actually been set up that somebody can then pop in whatever they like. Now you can copy that link. As you can see, it's not very sexy. So you could use a link shortener um, and uh, make it look nicer, make it say what it does on the tin. Uh, you can also generate a QR code that you can give to people so that they can donate. So again, if you're out doing something in the real world, you could have a QR code on your, um, on your stand people can scan it and make a donation to your cause or whatever it is that you're doing so it's really super simple so if i now copy that link and pop it over into a, another browse uh, into another window this is what somebody will see when they're actually using that link and i as the end user can add in whatever amount i like in here okay so that's how they will see it, that's what they will get, and that's how it's done. It's now 12.13, so yay, we've done it in less than five minutes. So if you found this video useful, please do come and join us in our Facebook community so you can get access to more good stuff like this. Or if you'd like to test out how it works from the user perspective, you can now buy me a brew. See you next time.